Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be another grocery haul and meal plan for a family of five. So before I get into this video, sorry for the background noise, but the kids are eating an early lunch while I film this so we can go to messy play later. But I'm just going to show you what I've got and then as always I will run through the meal plan at the end. So this is the store cupboard items for this week. I'm stocking up on some plain flour because it's great for like thickening sauces, making yorkshire pudding, baking, that kind of thing. I've got a tin of baked beans. I just bought the one because we only needed the one. I've got another bottle of this because I bought this last week and I really, really did enjoy it. When I first opened it, it didn't smell any different, but actually it's super tasty. And I'm gonna split this between two recipes this week. So hopefully it will take it a little bit further as well because it's about 50p more expensive than other barbecue sauces that you can get at Tesco. I have some sesame seeds. I decided to buy the little jar just so that they would stay like sealed and fresh for longer plus a little goes a long way with them. I've got some sweet corn and then I've also got some maple syrup because one of the recipes I want to do this week calls for honey and obviously Stan is under one years old so I'm going to substitute that for maple syrup. And then finally I have some long grain rice and this was a really really cheap one actually it's the growers harvest brand exclusively for Tesco and I think it was around the 40 50p mark for all of that so I thought I would give it a whirl because rice is rice isn't it so over here are drinks and snacks and I've got quite a lot of kids snacks but I'll tell you why in a second so I've got a hobgoblin here I'm not like you know turning into an ale drinker or anything like that this is for a recipe and then I've got some Coke Zero as I always get for the weekend with like rum and coke that kind of thing I got some chocolate chip brioche which I guess should be with the snacks but they're kind of like a staple every week because the kids really enjoy them these are Mark's uh, peanut butter bars. Normally we just get the plain ones because they're his favourite, but they've substituted for these and I said yes because, well, I'm sure they're nice. They probably taste like Nutella or something, but a bit healthier. I stocked up on some cherries and berries squash because we've already got lots of orange in. And then over here are the snacks. Now there's two reasons why I've got so many. Number one is that it's half term, so I've got all three kids like at home with me during the week. Is it next week or the week after? The week after. And then two, is also that I got my club card vouchers. I got £10.50 worth of vouchers just for like, you know when you spend and it tots up. So I thought I would use that money and spend it wisely to stock up on bits because obviously they're gonna eat meals throughout the week as normal, but Bill is like a growing lad and he can get hungry quite quickly. So we've got lots of fruit as well, but some of these are like healthier snacks and then some of them are treats. So let me show you. I've got some pom bears. I got the cheese and onion one because I don't think they've ever had the cheese and onion ones before and they were a Pound for five. Then I've got a six pack of mini breadsticks because they're just handy to have and there's less like additives and stuff and they're a bit they're a bit healthier on the healthier side. I got some of these Barney Bear things because they absolutely love them. They're bear shaped, they're chocolatey, so they're like a big treat. I've got some of these biscotti, which as I've mentioned before, Stan loves them and the older two love them as well. Oh, they've got new packaging, so they used to look like this, <laughs> now they look like that. I've got some of these fruit tarts. These are essentially dried fruit shaped into strawberry hearts, which I thought they would like. I think they were on offer, if I remember right. I got some Peppa Pig raisins, because they were only, I think they were about a pound for nine, and I thought that would entice Daisy to eat them a bit more, because she likes Peppa Pig. And then I've also got some yogurt-coated strawberry fruit bites, because they enjoy those as well. They're handy for out and about as well, because they're packeted up. And then finally, I've got some snackers, which are basically Tesco's version of Ritz, and they will be really nice for lunches with like cheese on, or just again put in like a little tub and taken out and about or with hummus that kind of thing so those are like favorite snacks really that my kids enjoy that aren't fruit or like veg that kind of thing and hopefully that will serve as well and I'm going to hide most of them so they don't eat them before half term then I have just a white toasty we get 50 50 sometimes but I really really like white toasty bread with bacon at the weekend so I've got this one then I've got some mini plain tortilla wraps to make mini quesadillas with these are a really like easy way to make a nice lunch for the kids during the week and again I bought them with half term in mind and like the rest of the week ahead. And then the only frozen item I have are some hash browns. And then everything else is over here. So 
let me start here god there's a lot of stuff isn't there i've got some tomatoes on the vine i've mentioned in the past few like holes like this that i'm really enjoying them at the moment and they were one pound 80 for six very big tomatoes i've got some baby leaf salad some sweet apples the rose dean farm brand is very affordable if you're like not familiar with tesco um i've got four onions here these were loose ones have they got the price on 39p there for those four i've got some sweet potatoes and they were 89p for four there as well and i've got three carrots but they came without any packaging which is good but i can't tell you how much they were off the top of my head lancashire close cut mushrooms i've got a big big box of these because i want to use them in two recipes then i've got two packs of blueberries and then a pack of strawberries these were a substitution because i picked the rose dean farm brand but didn't have any left so i got these ones instead i got some sweet easy peelers and kiwis because the kiwis were actually on offer at the moment so i think these were these were definitely under a pound if i remember right and the kids don't get them that much so i thought it'd be a nice change i don't think stan's tried them before actually so that'd be a nice one to go for avocados 25 percent off still mark lives for these things i like them as well but not as much as he does then i've got a large garlic a lime and a lemon two loose broccoli heads and then over here i've got the usual six bananas which was 86p then what else have i got peppers coriander and white potatoes as well i've got a cucumber and then what have i got over here pork cocktail sausages again just as a snack uh, for the kids mainly um beef stir fry strips now this this and this were all 25 percent off so it made them all i think they were about like the two pound three pound mark for each of them and i check the special offers bit before i do my grocery order and meal plan and if i can switch around a few like different types of meat or different ingredients to save myself some money that's what i'll do so i got the beef stir fry strips because they were nice and affordable two pound 85 then i got the british beef meatballs the price isn't on there but again it was very similar and then this pack of british chicken drumsticks cost me one pound 87 and bill actually asked me for these um a couple of weeks back can we have them in a meal soon so i was so pleased because he's gonna be really happy and i've saved some pennies as well i got some much cured ham because this was two pounds rather than three and it's just a lot nicer than other hams that i've tried mozzarella and cheddar mix for a recipe that i'm doing the usual fromage fray unsalted butter ground and padano cheese which again i feel like these are all staples in my food shop i got one of these hearty food company garlic baguettes and then i got two of these four cheese tortellini uh well yeah four cheese tortellini i got two of them and then that is everything so i will tell you the meal plan now hello right so sorry for the outfit and location change but i didn't manage to film the meal plan part of this video yesterday because we were in a rush for messy play so it is friday today which when you're going to be seeing this so i'll run through the meal plan now if that's okay so friday tonight i'm doing mini quesadillas for the kids they really really like these and they're like an easier way of kind of doing like a tortilla pizza because you don't need to faff around with the oven or anything like that and we've got loads of little bits in the fridge anyway like cheese ham sweet corn apologies i'm reading it off here like we've got some red onion chutney that's left some tomato puree any other veggies that they like they can put in and that's what they're gonna have because bill has jiu-jitsu tonight so the kids eat separately from us just because of timings really and then for us well i'm kind of i'm in two minds we do have some frozen chili in the freezer and then we also sometimes like to get a takeaway on a friday or saturday night so i'm going to chat to mark later on in a bit and see what we fancy but i'm actually really fancying a takeaway which is a bit naughty but hey and then on saturday bill asked if we could have some chicken drumsticks which you'll have seen in the hall so i'm going to do some chicken drumsticks and also some roasted sweet potatoes i've got a recipe in the description bar below that sounds really nice and they're like with parmesan and stuff sounds amazing and then i'm also going to do some veggies with that as well um we've still got some frozen corn and cobs for example so i might put those together and do a bit of coleslaw that kind of thing we will see and then on sunday 
I'm going to do a slow cooker beef stew and the recipe for that will be coming soon in a slow cooker video and I'm going to save it with some mash I think and then some Yorkshire puddings for mopping up the gravy because oh, it just sounds really good and then on Monday we're going to have stir fry barbecue beef with some noodles and I'm going to save that with prawn crackers and then we've also got some fortune cookies left in the cupboard so I'm going to do that for the kids because that's quite fun and then Tuesday we're going to have a couscous with roasted veg and then half of the meatballs that I got and some halloumi it's not really a recipe it's kind of just using up bits and bobs it's quite frugal quite easy to do i just mix the couscous up with some boiling water and some stock like a stock cube and yeah just bung it all in the oven and like cook things it's, it's just kind of like a throw it on a plate kind of meal and then on wednesday i'm going to do slow cooker meatball tortellini with garlic bread and salad again recipe coming soon for that one and then thursday is valentine's day so i'm leaving this one open I don't know what we're going to do yet. We might get like a takeaway. We might do like a meal for two because there's loads of those going around at the moment. We'll just have to see how we feel. I could cut something, but Thursday is also when Bill has beavers. So it might be that we choose to celebrate it on Friday. I mean, we're parents anyway, and you know, we don't need a day really do we i don't think any of us do but it's nice to sort of do something nice and have it be a bit special especially in february when it's all rainy and miserable and wet so yeah i'm gonna leave that open for now and see how we fare but yeah that is everything so hopefully you found this video helpful and um let me know in the comments down below if you've got any preferences for any other foodie related videos and i will have a look through and see what i can do for you i'm really enjoying doing food videos at the moment I i'm sure you can probably tell and i hope you're enjoying them as well but yeah have a lovely day whatever you're up to and hopefully I will see you very soon.